and now I'm going to discuss uh, how the map function works. So if I go to maps and add a map, this is an interactive map. It allows me to uh, use any JPEG image that I would like to use. It could be a, pic a floor plan of a warehouse or, a, uh, or an image of, let's say, Google Maps of some kind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly go to Google and big thanks to Google Maps and I'm going to type in Sydney Australia so now if I go here and I call the name office or level one okay in description it could be map it could be absolutely anything level one like so and add my image now I go and have a look at my and type in office and there we go I have just added my office or my plan, floor plan layout and, and I'm able to resize it like so so I can make it scalable to my screen okay and here I am I'm making the whole screen bigger just like so now I've got the flexibility to drag and drop my cameras in the particular area or the location okay I can also uh, bring over my global events and if I have multiple maps you'll have another option here that will have multiple maps which I'll show you very shortly in saying this uh, I can rotate my cameras around in any direction I've also got the flexibility to change the image whether it's a 2d or 3d image like that okay I can change the color that will best look on my map just make my camera stand out like so and I can face it in the direction that I wish like that yellow orange as you can see there are a whole variety of colors to choose from I can also change the size okay make it very small if I wish you're probably asking but there's no names 0201 if I wish I can actually put in front entrance and there we go now the camera title has changed this is back entrance alright so now by doing that when I press OK my map is there if I open up my map within my surveillance client I've got full functionality of my map and I can view my cameras and so forth which we will get to very shortly